And good afternoon. Thank you for joining us on this primary day in Kentucky. I'm Chris Goodman. And I'm Dia Davidson. Kentucky is one of four states with primary elections today. Polls opened at 6 this morning and turnout is expected to be the highest in 10 years. One of the big races in central Kentucky, the race for Republican Andy Barr's 6th district congressional seat with six Democratic candidates vying for his job. LEX 18's Lee Searcy begins our Decision 2018 coverage. It's a full house in the race for the 6th District Congressional seat. Six candidates with the nation watching who many consider to be the top two. Lexington Mayor Jim Gray and retired Marine fighter pilot Amy McGrath. They've both spent lots of money on their campaigns, which have been positive until Gray's recent ad pointing out McGrath is running for Congress in a district she's only lived in since last year. I can tell you this, I wouldn't be nearly as equipped for this job or the job of being mayor of Lexington had I not lived in the district and known the people. McGrath called the ad a last minute attack on anyone who chose to serve their country. She believes people are ready for a fresh face in Congress. And yes, she's a little antsy. I'm, I'm confident, I'm not overconfident. And uh, you know, we, we did, we put in the hard work and uh, the message is out there. Also in the race, State Senator Reggie Thomas, who too has questioned McGrath's residency, saying in one debate, quote, there's a lot you can't see from an airplane, end quote. He says he's upbeat. You know, met a lot of people, got a lot of good response. Uh, I think the momentum's going my way. So, so I'm really positive, you know, as uh, we come into election day. Theodore Green, Daniel Kemp, and Jeff Young are also running for the 6th district seat. We couldn't reach Green or Kemp, but did catch up with Young. I try to make as few predictions as possible. I do know that I'm the only Democrat qualified to do the job because I know the most about foreign policy. Covering the news in Lexington, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News. 